kind of pitch did Coach Cream have to give to you to make you say, hey, I'm going to stick this out of Georgia? Well, I actually didn't fall in love with the coaching staff in Georgia. I mean, I, I love Mark Hawks and all the other coaches, but I actually fell in love with the school. So the change in the coaching didn't really change my decision. I was going to come here regardless of the fact. But them bringing in Tom Crean just made it even better, him being a great coach. But I fell in love with the school because I'm going to be a student athlete. So the change of coaching didn't really affect my decision. I was still going to come here regardless. I ask you, this may be a silly question. I don't know, but Savannah hasn't really sent a lot of kids to UGA. But for, for, for big time for basketball here, it's going to some other guys. A quartering kid went to LSU, some other guys have gone elsewhere. Is that something for you, being a Savannah guy to cut the UJ? Is that a little bit extra special for you? Yeah, it's real big. And uh, whenever I feel like I'm not doing something right, I have to sit down and remind myself that I'm representing Savannah and not a lot of kids from Savannah get a big opportunity like the opportunity I have. So I have to, whenever I feel like I'm about to give up on something, I have to remind myself that I have the whole city on my back watching me and looking up to me. Like if Amanze did it, I know I could do it. So I don't want to let anyone down. How would you say that your time in the AAU has uh, like prepared you for the college environment? Yeah, you, yeah, you is really fast, and college basketball is really fast. So the, them both being very fast and playing against high major players, I feel like that got me really ready. Because playing basketball in Savannah, there's a lot of basketball players in Savannah, but yeah, you don't play against players from all over. So it gave me that really that good experience. I played against players like Zion Williams, and I got to meet up with players like Nazir Little. So playing against those high major players made me play at a high major level. So I feel like yeah, you really helped me become a better player throughout the summer. Have y'all, uh, what have y'all done to, to move, you know, y'all put up a lot of points against West Shores the other day, but the turnovers were a factor. I mean, what did y'all do kind of to, to work on that part of the game, the turnover? We, uh, we love to play fast, but we have to play smart. So we, we're still playing going hard and fast in practice, but it's in, in a sense, we have to start, like he might stop it and be like, hey, think, think about what you could have done in this play. Stay going fast. I like the intent, but just think about what you should have done. No jump passes and stuff like that. Like we still go hard 110% in practice, but now we're starting to think a little bit more because I feel like we were just going fast and not thinking. But now we go fast and we start to think more about our passing and stuff, start taking more better care of the ball. We have to learn that the ball is first and not going fast because we're so focused on going fast <laughs> and playing at the pace that Coach Crane wants to play at that we forgot that we were leaving the ball. Is the amount of points y'all put up balanced that at all? You know, that y'all score almost 100 points, you know, and say, hey, that's just kind of part of the part of our game is that we're going to go fast, but the turnovers might come? That's, I mean, we want to play fast and put up <laughs> a lot of points, but we don't want to have a lot of yeah. turnovers. I feel like it was just those first two games, we were excited to play overly excited, I could say, in a sense, and we were just too excited to be out there. I feel like that's where the turnovers come in, but in practice, we've really been paying attention to what we've been doing. Like, we might have stopped the play and be like, hey, we shouldn't do that because we just turned the ball over. We still want to play at that fast pace because that's how Coach Crane wants to play. He wants to put up 100 points every night. So we still play fast, but we just have to think a little bit more.